In this video, we'll learn more about the different data types you can use with MIPS assembly. The most important data types you will need are Word, ASCII, Float and Double. You already know that ASCII is used to print string type data like Hello World, so let's look at how to print numbers. If you want to use an integer number, you would use the data type called Word. A Word is a unit the size of the register of the CPU. In MIPS, it's usually 32 bits. If you declare a variable with the type word, you can store 32 bits of information in it. So let's put the number 14 in the variable and print it. Remember that when you want to print something, you need to perform a syscall to tell the kernel to print something. To do this, you first load the syscall service number for printing a word, which is 1, into the register v0. This is our way to tell the system to print a word. Then we fetch the variable number that we declared in the data section into the register A0. The last thing to do now is to simply write syscall. And now we can assemble the file and run it. And as we can see in the console, the number 14 is printed out. If you look at the registers here on the right, the values are all in hexadecimal. But if you want to see what's actually going on here, you can go to settings and untick values displayed in hexadecimal and now you can see the actual numbers that are being stored in the registers. For example, there is our number 14 here in register A0. If you want to use a number that includes a fraction, you would use the data type float. The syscall number for printing floats is 2. By the way, you can find all the syscall numbers by clicking on help and then syscall. Here it tells you that the syscall for print float is 2. And it also tells you in which register it will look for the value to print. In this case, it's the register F12. This register is actually a special one because it's on the coprocessor 1. So to load the float number into this register, we use the command lwc1, which means load word into coprocessor 1, and then again write this call after it. Assemble and run the file. The float number then appears in the console and you can see the value is now in the F12 register. The data type double is similar to float but it can store more values after the decimal point. So if you need more precision, you should use double. But remember that double takes up more space. Printing doubles is the syscall number 3. The command to load a double into a register is LDC1 which means load double into coprocessor 1. When you run the file now, you can see we get the expected value in the terminal. If you look into the registers, however, you will see that the double value took up two registers. This is because a double value uses 64 bits instead of 32, like the float value did. Since a register is only 32 bits in size, it needs two registers to store a double value and it uses the register you declare and the one after it. Those are the most important data types for now, so thanks for watching.